Sunday coffee. What's up, guys? I'm Feck. It's War. We're 87 Gaming. Welcome back to Sunday Coffee. Yeah, buddy. Um, it, uh, once again, it's our Sunday vlog. Uh, just to let you guys know what we're up to and what we've got going on. And do a little community interaction. Mm-hmm. So, first of all, I guess let's talk about um, what we did this week and how this week went for us. But first, I want to mention a few things we have coming up, and we'll talk about that a little later in this video. Um, so, we got some more Dark Souls. Uh, we want to finish that Ring City DLC. We got some Bloodborne videos we weren't mm -hmm. quite expecting to record right now, but we got them recorded. So, those are on the work for next week. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if we have anything hard planned uh, for Salt and Sanctuary, but that's something we really want to get back to. Right. It's been hard with the uh, Dark Souls 3 taking up a lot of the time. Dark Souls 3 has been really rough. Uh, and we do have a Binding of Isaac video that will come out this week as well mm -hmm. due to a special request from... Dennis Nosko? I'm sorry, I can't pronounce your name. I asked my Slav friend to help me pronounce it, but I didn't get an answer in time, so... Right. So, so yeah, well, we got some more Binding of Isaac coming out for you. If so. you want to tell us how to pronounce your name in the comments, it'd be awesome. Yeah, we'll definitely include that next time. <laughs> So this week was pretty rough for us. Um, the the release schedule that we maintain is, you know, pretty much almost daily. And, almost, yeah. And making a daily video is really time consuming. But it's even more time consuming when the content is something like Dark Souls. Yeah. Especially when Dark Souls decided it wanted to release some really challenging content for its last DLC. Right. Yeah. We were kind of we were kind of complaining about Ashes at first because it starts out so easy, but we're not having that problem this time. No. Exactly. It's the opposite problem. So. Um, it's taken a long time for us to record and edit our Dark Souls releases, uh, longer than we expected. Definitely, um, you know, the videos are coming out slower than we wanted them to, but we are working really hard on them. So, um, you know, if you guys are enjoying that stuff at all, please let us know. Um, if you haven't checked it out, give it a view. We've been working, we've been working really hard to make sure that's quality material for you guys. So, mm -hmm. uh, if you, uh, go ahead and hit those videos up, I'm sure you'll enjoy them. And we'd love to hear, um, you know, anything you have to say about them. Right. And on the side note, edit, um, edit, uh, Feck has been working on um, the uh, Bloodborne Hunter's Bells that you might have seen pop out. Those are really, really cool uh, releases he did. They're kind of like music videos almost. Yeah. <laughs> so um, in order to kind of maintain our release schedule, we wanted to provide a, you know, maybe more bite-sized bit of content instead of a 30-minute video. How here's, here's a three-minute video. Right. Um, it obviously doesn't have our traditional commentary and stuff like that, but um, it's one, one thing for me um, that really helps with uh, working on editing skills. So instead of trying to tackle this whole 30, 40 minute project and make sure it comes out on time, uh, with a three minute video, we can spend a lot more time on each detail, can get, um, you know, a lot more effects thrown in there, can analyze things for opportunities for improvement, mm -hmm. um, and still kind of release in, in the same time frame as a much longer video. So hopefully you guys noticed a slight, you know, production quality difference there. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, let us know. If you didn't like it, if you don't want us to release, release stuff with no commentary, you know, make your voice heard. Um, we do want you guys to enjoy what we put out here, but for me personally, I loved recording the Hunter's Bells. I think it's a really cool idea to go help those people asking for assistance. And I had a lot of fun making the videos, and I really enjoyed the way they turned out, man. I, I watched a couple of those more than once, um, because it was just fun to watch, fun to listen to the music, and it was cool and stuff like that. So, uh, mm -hmm. if you didn't catch those, check them out. You know, they were released this week, the, the Hunter's Bell stuff. Um, and it's just little bite-sized content that I think, uh, just about anybody can enjoy. Right. And of course, if you're into it yourself, uh, make sure to check out our Hunter's Bell. There's always people asking for help. There's always stuff to do. You know, Bloodborne's been out for a while, so you, you gotta make your own task list if you want new content. But I mean, there's always stuff you can do, and it's, and it's fun to help these guys out. Yeah. Yeah. And once you're, you know, you've got your new game pluses done to whatever degree, and all your gems and all your stuff farmed out. Hunter's Bell is a great place to go to keep uh, entertained, um, give, keep giving yourself challenging content. A lot of those people like to do really hard stuff at really low levels. Right, and you stay um, involved in the community that way. Yeah, and I've met some really cool people doing that already, and, you know, it's um, I've, I've just enjoyed it a lot, so... There's that. Um, so yeah, we got some, we got some, you know, some tough week ahead of us, kind of like we did last week. We still have, I don't know, we're probably only, what, halfway maybe? Halfway maybe through the Dark Souls DLC? Oh, yeah. So there's definitely going to be a lot more Dark Souls um, DLC coming out. Um, well, Dark Souls DLC videos coming out. Uh, but yeah, the pace will probably continue to be the same unless the game decides to take a, you know, dramatic turn for the easier. Right. Um, and then, of course, um, we, as far as other things we're working on uh, this week, we also got uh, some more Bloodborne recorded uh, with a special guest star. I'm sure y uh, you and the uh, Bloodborne community will, will recognize it, um, but, uh, but that was a lot of fun recording that. It really was. Yeah, we had somebody uh, kind of famous from the, the Bloodborne Reddit community uh, join us for one of our 
series. Um, you know, there's a glyph code somebody recommended on the Bloodborne subreddit, and it seemed kind of uh, foolish to hop into it, so that's exactly what we did. <laughs> and, right. Uh, and, yeah, I think you guys will like who our special guest star is, so make sure you stay tuned this week, see who that is. Um, and it's a really cool is Chalice Dungeon, if you're into that stuff. Um, you'll def- definitely actually like the dungeon itself. Right. Um, let me see. So... We wanted to make some mentions to some of you folks out there. Um, you guys have been really great um, lately, especially with your feedback, with your comments. Um, you know, kind of as the channel grows, more and more uh, feedback comes from you guys talking about the things that we've done, the things that you want to see. Um, and so we really, really, really appreciate that. And one person I wanted to mention in particular this week, um, person commented to me from Reddit, and their Reddit username is Librarian on Duty. Mm-hmm. And they gave some really great feedback regarding our videos, regarding the production values and editing techniques. Um, there's somebody who's familiar with Adobe Premiere, which is the program we use, and they were able to kind of be very precise with their feedback versus, you know, vagaries or general ideas, which, of course, we appreciate, but aren't always as helpful. Right. Um, and just a very, very intelligent person, obviously, um, and giving us some really good critical feedback, and, and we really appreciate it. So thank you, Librarian on Duty. Mm-hmm. Um, you keep doing you, man. Hope you check out Demon Souls soon. Please let us know uh, what you thought of it, um, and, you know, we'll continue from there. I look forward to hearing about your journey through the rest of the Souls games. For sure. Uh, the next um, shout out I wanted to give out to was to uh, Fud Factory. Um, he's been Fud Factory. <laughs> yeah, he, he's been really uh, supportive with his feedback as well, and he's been kind of spreading some of the word on Twitter for us, and that's really cool, man. Um, uh, really appreciate uh, the, the insight, and he, the dude has a lot of really interesting uh, let's play games that I've, I've never even heard of. Yeah. Um, so he's definitely got a nice style. If you want to check out something new and original, yeah. And um, there's another YouTuber I wanted to mention, but they don't do Let's Plays. Um, believe it or not, we're into music. And <laughs> in particular, we uh, I think we favor heavy metal over just about everything else. Right. Don't, don't get me wrong. We like a lot of different genres of music, but heavy metal is where it's at. And there's a gentleman doing covers of... Bloodborne and Dark Souls stuff that's just now starting to come out with content. Yeah. Um, and dude seems to be growing really rapidly in popularity. I'm not following him every day or anything, but he put out a Lady Maria cover that I discovered that mm-hmm. was awesome. Just yes. awesome. Um, and he has other stuff. I know he just put out a Dark Souls 3 uh, DLC boss cover. His stuff is really good. I mean, he's up there with the, some of the top YouTubers who do that sort of thing. If you guys actually check out any of video game covers, especially if you're into the metal stuff. Um, he's he's top notch material, so we'll leave a link to the description below. His name is Extal. Extal, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I'm hoping. So anyway, check out Extal. We'll link uh, the Lady Maria cover. Let us know what you guys think of it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was really cool. I've listened to it uh, a number of times already, and I really appreciate fan made content like that. So um, if you guys see or come across anything like a metal cover of any of the games that we play or any just really cool games, let us know because we are super into that. Um, but yeah, check out Extal. He's got a lot of great stuff. I'm sure if you don't like, uh, you know, Bloodborne, he'll have some other kind of game for you that you, you could check something out. Oh, and then last but not least, of course, uh, we wanted to uh, shout out uh, Mr. Sven at Major Sven Gaming. Um, this dude is just one of the nicest guys I've ever seen, and he's got some really original content, um, and he, he, he seems to be like, uh, like, like I don't know, like a guide or, or kind of like a... Um, like like a helper to like all the new tubers around. Yeah, no, he's sage like. I don't I don't I don't know other way to describe him other than when we watch his videos, he's just so damn nice. Mm-hmm. He's such a nice guy. Like I just like I want to be friends with this guy. Right, and tons of full uh, full of tons of useful information. Yeah, um, I mean, he started his YouTube channel. It looks like about the same time we did, and he's had great growth. He's got great community interaction. He's very personable, um, very entertaining. So yeah, check out Major Sven if you haven't checked him out. Uh, I think you'll enjoy his style of content. And, you know, obviously let them know that, you know, uh, we, we sent you there. <laughs> we don't have to include that. <laughs> right. Um, that's pretty much good, right? Yeah, no no cat this week, guys. He doesn't want to hang out today. He's too busy begging to be let out at the door. Right. Um, so that's where he is, in case you guys were wondering. Of course, nobody really talked about the cat last video, so I guess nobody even noticed he was here. <laughs> well, you know, it wasn't too loud or anything. So yeah. it worked he out. was well-behaved for a cone face. Mm. 
I think that about wraps it up for this week, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed what we put out this week. Hopefully you're looking forward to what we got next week. Please reach out to us in the comments anytime you feel like you got something to say, anything you want to tell us, Mm -hmm. anything you want to ask us. We're we're pretty available through uh, the YouTube channel, through Reddit, through Twitter. You can find us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you want to reach out to us at all, we've made it as easy as possible. And, of course, we would love to hear from you guys. So um, let us know what's on your mind. Hope you guys had a great week. Hope this next week coming up is even better. Good game, everybody. Good game.